Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be seeing C# -sharp properties. So right here, I am inside Visual, Visual Studio, and this is the student class. Okay. Now, as you know, a student need a name, a GPA, an email, some contact information, etc. So we will be using properties to give the student class some data that we can store and retrieve. Okay. So now let's start by adding some properties. Now notice that I'm calling the properties code snippet. If I hit tab, it will create for me the template. Okay. Now, first thing first, we need name. So I'm gonna create a string property of name. Okay. Now we're gonna need a double. Okay. And we're gonna need a GBA. Okay. Another property, let's say email. Okay. So these are sufficient if enough. Okay. Now these for this property. Now the properties right here we can call them so it can sit and get also if you notice right here it can sit and get the value of this property. Okay, so let's go do that. Now if I go to the program right here, I have uh, I have created a new object of the student class. I have given the GBA a value of five, okay, which is not correct. Uh, it should be no more than four, okay? We will see how we can limit that in just a bit, okay? And I have returning it. Now notice that I'm casting the type GBA from double to string, okay? Or it will be like, if I remove this, it will give me an error, okay? So let's just run the console. Let's see just quickly the value. Notice that we have the five value for the GBA okay as you notice the properties are like easy enough you just call in the object you specify the name or the email okay let's call it like this let's call in the name again let's call the student name okay so that's how we call we call in the object dot the property we want and we specify its value so it will be saved in the property and as soon as we call in the student dot gba we will get the value or student dot whatever property you want okay now let's sit back to the class right here okay and see what we can do to limit the access to gba now Notice that any GBA should not be more than four or less than zero. Okay, so we wanna limit the access for it. Okay, so how we can do that? First thing first, we need to declare a private. Okay, let's call in double. Okay, now notice the naming. It can it should like it, it can be GBA. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, okay, uh, private double GBA, okay, so that's good enough, okay, now, notice what we will do now, now inside the GBA get and set, this is what I will do, I will expand them, okay, now I will return the GBA, okay, and I will, inside the set right here, let me just expand it, okay, I will do the following, okay? I will call in the if. Now we just need a semicolon right here, okay? We will need to do a check that the value passed in should not be greater than 4.0 or less than 0, okay? Uh, if it's the case or it's uh, va uh, value it's not uh, like uh, greater than 4.0 uh, or less than 0, 0.0 okay we want to just give the gba a default value which will be 0, 0.0 okay if not the gba will take the value okay we just make this code look neater okay and let's explain it more okay now if i call in the gba property okay uh, and i want its value okay it will send me back this 
field right here this encapsulated field okay now if I call in the GBA property and I want to set it a value to give it a certain value okay it should be that value greater than uh, should not be greater than 4.0 or less than 0.0 .0, which is invalid GBA if it's invalid I will give it a default value of 0 if it's not I will set the GBA to this value I have passed into this property okay let's see that in action now we have GBA of 5 so now by default it should only show us 0 because we have entered an invalid value okay but if I pass in let's call 3 point I'm sorry 3.7 okay and I run this application notice that it has allowed me to store the value in the property okay or in the encapsulated field because I have met the conditions okay so the properties can also be used to limit the access so I hope you enjoy and find this tutorial useful thank you for watching